the initial production verification tests of the hull and turret ammunition compartments were conducted on ballistic hull and turret number eight. Both hull and turret ammo door systems tested were assembled using production line components, personnel, and methods. The turret ballistic test was conducted on September 22, 1986. The charge went off as planned and produced a very violent event. The Amador system performed extremely well and met all requirements. Although some smoke was observed to enter the crew area, the resultant toxic fume levels were judged to be survivable. This is proof that the design and production of the turret Amador system is successful in preserving crew survivability during an attack on the ammunition. Several inspections of the door system were performed before and after shipment and after final closure to ensure it met all current TDP requirements. Before loading the ammunition, the ready door was operated through 200 cycles and the storage door through 10 cycles to simulate normal break-in usage. The bustle was loaded with a full complement of ammunition, which is 24 kinetic energy and 10 heat rounds. The blast was initiated by detonating a shape charge warhead that was mounted against the exterior wall of the bustle. All 10 heat warheads remained intact throughout the event. Although the relevant pressure reading was not recorded, extrapolation of other data indicates that the peak initial blast pressure was in the range of 2,400 to 3,000 PSI. This is corroborated by the extensive structural damage seen in this test compared to earlier tests. Despite this, the Amador system met all its requirements. The initial blast ruptured the bustle floor along three of the four walls in the ready compartment. The high pressure also bent the rear edge of the turret racewing support casting downward. This structural deformation distorted the flat plane that both doors seal against. This is the cause of the small amount of orange smoke which leaked into the crew area at the lower right-hand corner of the ready and stowage doors.